Now, I know for me and probably many of you guys, Minecraft and Fortnite was like the culmination, like the pinnacle of nostalgia for our generation. After sitting in school for like eight hours a day, fucking bored out of my mind, even having like an hour to play is true, but like sadly, it gave me more excitement than fucking Kevin G's dad. You know what I'm saying? I put my Chromebook in my room and then I'd race for the living room. Um, we had this tiny little drum chair that me and my brother shared. Side note, sharing a fucking console with your sibling was the most annoying shit ever. You think your life was hard? Imagine being brought no up- No more Fortnite! Huh? <gasps> no, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! Not literally before I do anything. It just said that it's gonna delete all my files, so I gotta like save them. Otherwise, they're gone. And that would be ass. Uh, I think I just lost all of my files from the past like six years. Fuck you, kid. Oh, oh my god, I got so lucky. You're adopted. Okay, I'm gonna continue this. I gotta finish this though. Um, I'm so happy I made this, or I would have lost everything. Now within me yapping about my past, I'm just trying to say that Long before time had a name We all have some sort of like nostalgic feeling Whether it comes from the McDonald's play place Or sleepovers at your grandparents Or especially for me COVID-19 But more on that like another day Now the nostalgic feeling I don't believe comes from Fortnite or McDonald's or any of that shit. The feeling of nostalgia comes more from what life was like, just you, what you were doing. You know, you didn't have to worry about like, anything. No matter what it is, it's these moments of our past that can leave us trapped on focusing what life once was and leaving us unable to look at what life has given us more like now, like right now. We want to relive the precious moments that we had and no longer have. Womp womp. Only thing we can do is learn from the mistakes of not appreciating what life has let us experience. Because let's be honest, being alive for the most part, I say most part because like, never no, mind. Feel... But being alive, you know, we're able to experience so much. You do six weeks of just nothing. For you, the sooner you can understand, like, you can't get that time back. It's hard to put it into words. I don't know. It's even harder to put it into action. Honestly, like, no matter how it's explained, it's really up to you. Time just goes by, and you do shit, and that's it. I say this shit, but then still there's times where it's like, okay, yeah, I just, I, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? It happens to everyone. You can't do nothing about it. Every now and again, let's say you're on a mountain, okay? You're on a mountain. You're on this big, this big mountain. If you just take a second, look around, and you just understand you're in the moment, and you just focus on the now, it's so hard to explain. You just gotta take a moment. You take a moment, thank yourself for getting yourself to where you're at that's all you really can do i guess that made no fucking sense it's so hard to put into words it really is let's say you're chilling with your dad okay or nah i'll say your friend because not everyone has a dad so everyone's chilling with their friend right you got your friend okay this is my friend be content that you're there with your friend doing whatever the fuck y'all are doing you know you're chilling and you just enjoy the moment. That's it. That is fucking it. You enjoy the moment. You're with your friend, your buddy, your little chicken man. And be aware that the moment is now. And you're with your friend and you're hanging out. Cause someday you're not gonna you're not gonna hang out with them, you know? You're not gonna see your parents, you're not your grandparents, you're not gonna see them. You will die. Um, siblings, you may see them through your whole life, and there's people that will be in your life forever, but if you treat everyone as if you're never gonna see them again, um, you kind of start to think of people differently. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, nostalgia, nostalgia is something we all experience. I think nostalgia is one of the basic emotions that everyone ends up feeling, no matter what age. Everyone has a moment in their life they wish they could relive, but no matter good or bad, Whatever has happened, happened, it's done. If we all kind of put 
our pasts behind us and live in the now, I do think a lot of things could be different, would be different. Um, people are kind of stuck on the past. I'm not saying for all, you know, I can't do that. I can't even say that for myself. But people kind of tend to look at what life was and then act as if that's how life should be now. And there's some things that definitely should be and isn't but it's not gonna be the case. And the only way things can change is if we all work together. Be excited for new experiences. Be thoughtful of what we do for other people's sake, not even our own, you know, like, ultimately you could be, you could be a douchebag and just whatever. But if you're a douchebag, if you're an asshole, other people are gonna see the consequences for that. Because I don't, I don't think everyone gets what they deserve. Obviously, people don't. And if that's the case, you're fucking lucky. It's kind of the new experiences that keeps me going. Knowing that no matter what happens, it's going to work out. Which is something I came to the conclusion on my own, just from what I experienced. But I do personally believe everything does work out in the end. No matter what happens, no matter how long it happens for, everything works out. It's taken a minute to put this into words and I'm gonna sit there and chop this shit up because what I'm yapping about is not what I'm trying to say at all. This is just all kind of what I believe personally. Um, obviously, if you wanna disagree, go right ahead. I don't give a fuck. You know, that's your opinion. It's how it goes. Everyone has agreements, disagreements, you know, it's just, it's just, it's how the world goes around. So, if we all could agree on shit, there'd be nothing more to expand on, because then we'd be stuck in the same everything. Going through some of the stuff I went through, maybe life wouldn't have been over, but I thought it was, you know? And I know people who watch this, you've had those experiences. Having situations, I felt like it was just, that was it, there was nothing, nothing else you could do, you were just, stuck being 19 i'm 19 what the fuck what <laughs> i don't understand but being 19 you know i moved out three months after i graduated life just got good you know it just we were on a fun entertaining great amazing roller coaster and you make sure you put your seatbelt on because no matter how long it takes life will get good i promise it may take some time but you'll get there do i wish i could be 12 again hell yeah she um, said she was 12. but i don't think i would change anything everything that's happened in my life it's made me who i am today am i anything greater than anyone else no but i do think there's things that i believe there's things that other people believe that are obviously better than what other people believe like racism racism is not good with life you're really in it for yourself so no matter what you do try to do something that will benefit you not you only but to where a decision you make doesn't fuck future you over don't have nostalgia be an influence on your decisions because even though it's something that you may wish you could go back to, you can't. Do new shit, go learn something. I'm saying that, like I'm the most unathletic person in the world. Sports, never, fuck no, hell no. No, I'm learning new shit all the time, no. I'm not bragging at all. I got nothing more that anyone else has, at all. I have absolutely nothing. But what I do have is my own choices. My choices can be better than other people. My words can come out better than other people. Like this, you guys are gonna see this all chopped up because how I actually talk, I don't know why, my brain can't say what I'm trying to say. That's why editing is nice because I get to make whatever sentence I want into how I want it because I can make it, you know? That's why I like, I like doing this stuff. It gets my mind, editing gets my mind off of so much shit. 
like every like I sit down just bitch, stop! lock in. You know what I'm saying? I'm just on that bitch. And I forget about everything. I'm just I'm just in I'm in the moment. And it's nice. I'm gonna quit yapping. I'm gonna put some words in by Morgan Freeman. Sit on this. I'm gonna add it at the end. So we'll see what I cook. Goodbye. Oh, I just cracked.